Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this sweater. You can get yet free pattern link provided on the description box below. If you'll find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and click that bell button. I'll be working with the size extra small, but you can customize it to your size as we get into the video. So let's start! So for this pattern, we will work on the front panel first, starting at the bottom, working upwards. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 12. This will be the length of our waistband. Here is the first sample that I made. This is how it would look like. If you want it longer, you can add more chains. Next is a single crochet on the second chain from hook and in each of the next chains across. So this will be our first row and for our second row, chain 1, flip your work and work your back loop single crochet on the very first stitch. And again, back loop single crochet in the next stitches across. For row 3 onwards, basically we will just repeat the pattern on row 2 which is chain 1, flip your work and back loop, single crochet on all the stitches. Keep repeating pattern on row 2 until you have the needed length. To determine the needed length, you just have to measure around your bust point level and divide it into 2. For my size, I have 32 inch and that gives me 16 inch and I made a total rows of 63. You will also need to have a total of an odd number of rows. So here's my 63 row with a 16 inch length. You can try to stretch it if you have a stretchy yarn. So for our next step, chain 1 and working on this side, single crochet in each of the row.
after your single crochet on the last chain one space another single crochet on the very last stitch for row 4 chain 1 flip your work and single crochet on the very first stitch chain 1 skip the next stitch and single crochet on the next chain 1 space repeat that across so basically on every single crochet we will work a chain on top of it and in every chain 1 space we will work a single crochet on top of it but you will always start and end the row with a single crochet to end row 4 after your single crochet on the last chain 1 space chain 1 skip the second last stitch and single crochet on the very last stitch keep alternating pattern on row 3 and 4 until you have your desired length to determine your desired length, the total length of the top must cover from your neck or from your collarbone down to your desired length. For my size, I made a total of 36 rows. Next step is to count your total stitches and divide it into 4 and attach markers. To continue with the shoulders, we will work with the same pattern but with a decrease. To start chain 1, flip your work. Single crochet on the first stitch. And since we have a single crochet here, we will chain 1. And single crochet on the first chain one space chain one skip next stitch and single crochet on the next chain one space repeat that until you reach your first marker When you reach your marker, stop there and chain 1, flip your work. To decrease, we will work our first single crochet on the first chain 1 space. Chain 1, skip the next stitch and single crochet on the next chain 1 space. Repeat that across. Remember, we will only be decreasing on the inner side of the panel. Once you get back on the decreasing part, to decrease, we will only skip the last stitch and start the next row with a chain 1 and flip your work. After that, repeat the pattern on the last 2 rows for 2 more times with a total of 7 rows with a decrease. So here's how it should look like. We will do the same pattern on the other side but still decreasing on the inner side and starting on this marker. Leave a tail at least 5 inch so we can make use of sewing them in later on. And make two of this with the same kind of stitches and rows. Now we will be working with the sleeves starting with the cuff to begin make a slip knot and chain 8 
This will be the length of my cuff but you can make it longer by adding more chains. Next step is to do literally the same pattern with the waist band. I made a total of 24 rows. You can add more rows if you want or needed. Just make sure you can slip through your wrist on it when you wrap it around. Next step is to attach both ends using single crochet. After you have attached both ends, we will now work on the side of the rows starting with the chain 1 and work one single crochet in each row. stitch on the first single crochet for row 4 chain 1 and single crochet on the same stitch chain 1 skip the next stitch and single crochet on the next one repeat that for the whole round To close round 4, slip stitch on the first single crochet. Start round 5 with a chain 1, single crochet on the same stitch, single crochet on this first chain 1 space, chain 1, skip next stitch and single crochet on the next chain 1 space. Repeat that for the whole round. Keep adding more rounds using the same pattern until you have your desired sleeve length. 
always remember to start the round with a chain 1 and single crochet on the same stitch. If your next stitch is a chain 1 space, work a single crochet there and if your next stitch is a single crochet, work a chain 1 space first before single crocheting on the next. So I made a total of 86 rows and that gives me a total of 21 inch including the cuff. Now sandwich the two panels and this two sides should be the wrong side. Wrong side means the side that touches the skin when it's worn. Now we will be sewing them using this long tail. Do that, of course, on both sides. Same technique will be used for attaching the sleeves. Lay them down like this and determine up to where you will be sewing the sleeves and put a stitch marker. Before sewing them in, also make sure that the sleeve is in the wrong side. Same with the panels. Also make sure that the seam is folded on the underarm. Just an additional tip when sewing, while you're facing both the wrong side of the panels, sew them in using both the outer loops to make a nicer and cleaner seam.
course, do the same technique on the other sleeves. For the neck lining, you can attach your yarn anywhere, but I will be attaching it here since I use a two color yarn. And then single crochet each stitch and each side of the rows. So I change color here since I used two colors. If you didn't use two colors, you don't have to. And to finish the edging, just slip stitch on the very first single crochet. weave all ends and that's it we're done if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe click that like button and bell button for you to get notified on my next upload thank you for watching